Welcome to Pride Fest 2017, presented by MasterCard, Monsanto, Mellencrot Pharmaceuticals, and Procter and Gamble. Please welcome to the stage your MCs for today: Miss Adria Andrews, Miss Trixie Larue, and all the way from Kansas City, the one and only Flo. You got that one, sister? I got it. I love it. Happy Ooh. Gay Pride, St. Hello. Louis! Hello, hello, hello. How's everyone out there doing? Ooh, you guys ready to get this stuff started? Yeah? Well, I, how are you? I'm wonderful, I'm wonderful. I've, I've been here since Thursday. I've been to uh, Gray Fox, I've been to Nadine's, I've been to Just John's, I've been... I've been everywhere. Just everywhere. Just, just everywhere. Yes, we love that. Ooh. Well, we're still missing our little sister, Trixie LaRue. She'll be here in a little while. She will while. be bee bopping in here any second, yeah, I'm sure. She's going to skip on in here in just a little bit. And well, we love it. Look at all the people coming up here. Yes, everybody come up here. It's a very special opening to uh, Gay Pride here in St. Louis. Make some noise. Just make some noise for all of the hard work. All of these board members and volunteers have been doing all year long to put on such an amazing festival here in St. Louis. Just follow the feminine booming voices of the drag queens here. Yes, yes, everyone just follow the sound of my voice. <laughs> well, I think we're gonna go ahead and turn things over to Master Sergeant Steve Zeiger. Welcome everybody. Uh, this is the fifth year we're gonna do this. So we're opening up Pride with the military uh, element and the wreath laying ceremony. We're gonna kick it off with the national anthem. So if you wanna remove your hats and put your hands on your heart, we're gonna get started. Thank you. How are you? How many beautiful gay Americans do I have right here? Beautiful gay Americans! I need... I need you to sing this with me! I need the national anthem, please! I love it! The wind is a beautiful thing! 
I think that's an omen. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. My name is Adam Lux. I'm the president of the Missouri chapter of the Boeing Association of Gay, Lesbian, Bi, Transgender Employees and Friends, otherwise known as the Beagles. We're an employee-run business resource group committed to encouraging, enhancing, and recognizing diversity to support professional and personal development. The Boeing Company is the world's largest aerospace company and leading manufacturer of commercial jetliner and defense space and security systems. We're a company with over a century of history and a culture of innovation. We're committed to the St. Louis region as an LGBT supportive and inclusive employer. Boeing is proud to be a corporate sponsor of the 2017 St. Louis Pride Fest. We're honored to be here today in recognition and remembrance of our fallen service members who have identified as LGBT for their contributions in service and in their ultimate sacrifice. These men and women will never be forgotten because of the efforts from people like Steve Zeiger who brought this honorable tradition to Pride St. Louis. Thank you for allowing us the opportunity to partake in this very beautiful and moving ceremony today. Thank you. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you. I also want to take a moment to thank the Boeing uh, company, specific, specifically Adam Lutz, who's the president of the Boeing Association of Gay, Lesbian, Bisexual, and Transgender Employees and Friends, and Rick Epic, procurement financial analyst and our Boeing Pride Fest sponsor, Focal, who has for the past three years sponsored this event of Pride St. Louis. Thank you for sponsoring the military refilling ceremony again this year. This ceremony was created to honor all those LGBTQIA plus members of the armed forces who served and died defending this great nation. I'm proud to stand here before you today as a gay, retired master sergeant from the United States Air Force. <laughs> Serving honorably, thank you. <laughs> Serving honorably, be, being part of the, this country's military, volunteering with so many, doing our part so that our rights as citizens are preserved. Showing the world how great this nation is, not by force, but but by, human, but by human rights and the freedom to be and become who and what you want. That is what this nation was founded on. It wasn't founded on an individual religion, ideal, or cause, but collective ideas from many folks who left their countries because of oppression and very few freedoms to be who they wanted to be. We're all part of this melting pot we call the United States. 
Serving this country is only part of the honor. Watching the citizens live their lives freely and at times stand up against things that go against human rights, liberties, and justice brings it home, at least to me, the pride of serving. We are, we are a proud military, and these are but a few of the many rewards for serving. This population, which also consists of the LGBTQIA members, our citizens, share the same freedoms and equal rights as everyone else. Don't ever lose sight of that. The United States Armed Forces veterans, past and present, ensures these are preserved and kept intact, and you as citizens have the right to resist anyone in our government, private industry, public forums, family, and friends who think otherwise. This ceremony honors those who fought and died alongside their straight brothers and sisters in arms. We are all benefiting from these courageous men and women's efforts to be able to live in this country. It's the right of the citizens of this great nation to stand up for life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness these men and women held sacred. All service members serve this country so that all citizens have equal rights, whether it's marriage equality, equal pay, Etc. We don't serve, sacrifice our lives just so that one segment of the population has all the rights and, and the rest of us have a few. We do this so that we all have the same equal rights. This is a reminder to you about who you are and the rights you have as an American. We mustn't let their service and deaths be in vain. Be proud, to, be proud of your right to be free.
This concludes our uh, ceremony, and if you guys want, we're going to walk off the stage and follow uh, the parade director in the golf cart and walk this wreath over to the Boeing booth because the Soldiers Memorial is uh, under renovation. So if you want to follow us to the booth, you're more than welcome to do that. We're going to do in formation. Thank you. Pride St. Louis would like to thank our following sponsors, MasterCard, Monsanto, Mellencrot Pharmaceuticals, and Procter & Gamble. Stop by one of our beer booths throughout the grounds for an ice cold beverage. Brought to you by Urban Chestnut. Check out our new Athletes Village, featuring High Striker, Bungie Trampoline, Rock Climbing Wall, and Zipline. All located at Chestnut and 15th Streets, sponsored by Rehab Bar and Grill. Please welcome back to the stage your festival MCs. Streets, sponsored by Rehab Bar and Grill. Please welcome back to the stage your festival MCs.
come over here, and we'll bring you on stage because we're featuring you this weekend. If you want to bring Flo and I a shot of Fireball, if you don't mind, because we love Pride Fest because it's an opportunity for us to drink throughout the day. We love that. Don't you love yeah. getting drinking? How many of you all are going to be here all day long celebrating love? And those who are over 21 are going to be celebrating responsibly with Urban Chestnut and Fireball. Those under 21 are just going to be celebrating love. And the shit. I love it. Look at this snow coat and fried twinkies. My favorite part of the ride is the super duper burger here. I don't know, even at Virginia Walsh. He's been on the staff for forever. He always looks amazing. People bring him up and do that kind of that I can't really do. I'm not really that kind of.